Hello everyone, my name is Sanate, you may call me Jettis. I'm from Norway and when it comes to Eurovision Song Contest, I love to watch it. It's one of my highlights of my my year. This year, my country sent Kena with Spirit in the Sky and we won the televote in the final. However, the juries kind of pushed us down and uh, got us to fifth though, because they put us on 15th, whilst the televote was like, no, you are the best, we ended up on fifth, uh, right above Sweden, which, <laughs> as everybody knows, every Norwegian wants to be above Sweden. <laughs> Either way. Um, so today I want to talk a little bit about uh, some Eurovision experiences I've had. The first Eurovision song I remember hearing was Wigwams in My Dreams, because it was on the radio one year, I think it was before either 2008 or 2009 Eurovision. In 2009, which is the Eurovision I remember the best, I remember so well, I was seven, turning eight a year, that year, my mom and dad allowed me to be up late, because uh, it was in Moscow, and we had sent Alex and Rybak with the song Fairy Tale, and um, it was so late when it was over, but my mom and dad allowed me to stay up, because it was a Saturday, and it was Eurovision, and Norway was doing so well, he was on top at all times, and it was incredible to watch. Um, so that happened, and I was so happy when we won, and a year after it was in Oslo, my parents got to see the second semi-final, I think it was, the one in Romania wasn't at least. They saw that semi-final um, in Oslo, I did not, I was not allowed to go, I was, um, I was eight turning nine, and I had school. Um, but that was a lot of fun, and um, I also have some incredible moments happening to me. Uh, this year, as a matter of fact, I think I got a chance. Was it this year? I, yeah, it was this year. It was in, uh, it was early this year. I got to meet Alexander Rybak. I got to meet him. He's gonna be in Christian Sun. Uh, this year a lot. He's gonna be th be here in uh, November, December and um, I'm gonna talk more about that in a later video. But I got to meet him which was incredible. Uh, Fairy Tale is my favorite Eurovision song of all time and I got to speak with him and talk with him and he is so nice and so kind. Just like amazing and he's a Eurovision like superstar he is a legend he's a living legend you know and uh uh yeah so like getting to meet him like i loved that's how i read a song as well which got 15th but fairy tale will always be my favorite eurovision song of all time so when i got to meet him and he even had his violin. He even had his violin. I was about to cry. I was so close to crying and shaking because I have met Alexander Rybak, which people know. It's not just the fact that I'm Norwegian or anything. It's the fact that that's my favorite Eurovision song of all time. And getting to meet the person behind that song and that song, that song. He, he wrote, composed and sung that song. That is my favorite. That's incredible that I got to meet him and talk with him. And I am kind of shook. It lies on my Instagram, by the way, my private Instagram, which I will leave a link to down below if you want to check out because I have barely posted anything on Instagram. So it's not that hard to find. Um, I met him. At, it was closed, the place that I met him at the time, but that was because my parents work there or my dad works there my mom used to work there she's currently working somewhere else at the moment maybe she will go back and I work there myself so when I got to meet him it was incredible but I also met him at a coincidental moment and I uh it was amazing so I would like to ask you guys if you had a chance and you got to meet Alexander Rybak, what would you have done? Or if not, he, and, or if not Alexander Rybak, if you got to meet someone that was in Eurovision, like one of your favorites in the Eurovision Song Contest, the person behind the your favorite Eurovision act, 
And if it is Arshad Arabic, then join me. What would you, what would you, what, how would you have reacted? But how would you react if you go to meet your favorite Eurovision act? I would like to know. I will see y'all in a later video. Uh, subscribe if you want to. I make videos, try to make videos every Friday, but it's going to be kind of hard. Um, so yeah, I post a lot of different stuff when it comes to... Uh, different fandoms and such and uh, depending on what people want. Sometimes I make serious videos. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later and goodbye.